2023. Tinubu visits Mina, says, I, baby, give me his prayers. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. A presidential aspirant of all progressive Congress, APC, and the 2023 general elections, Bola Tinubu has visited Mina, the Niger state capital. Addressing journalists on Thursday, Tenebo said he met with former military president Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida, who prayed for success for his presidential ambition. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is full. Thank you, view. You know I'm laughing. Oh, I just wish you know. You might know. It is because this same IBB actually gave, you know, he endorsed the vice president. <laughs> <laughs> for the post of president and said a lot of sweet things about about um you know him becoming the president the nigerian should you know that that he's the best person for the job he's going to like a lot of sweet sweet things about him and now he's also giving his prayers to somebody else ah he's really really like he's acting drama for them and ah i think i like him. i think um hollywood should come and pick him up no to be sincere you're giving this person your word, and you're giving this person your word, Haba. You that are going to meet somebody that will endorse somebody already. What do you expect? <laughs> ah, politicians. So at the end of the day now, mm, I don't know, it's, it's Badamosi, it's IBB, Mr. I, Mr. Well, let me say general. <laughs> or did I say former general or former president now? Is he, is he actually, I don't know why everyone, it's like everyone is going to meet him. I wouldn't be surprised if um, Namdi Kano, or I said Namdi Kano, Kalu, Ojizo Kalu, and uh, what's his name, Devu Mahi, they should go to them for him to endorse. Like, I, I, is, it, is it now like somebody you're going to go for? Because I'm not understanding this when everybody is going to him, you know. Believe you me, because of the, because of the decay, the decay in our system has gotten so deep. Eh? I still believe that if you are a former president or you used to be a president before, even if you are just the recent successor, you have a say. Me, that's what I think. I don't know. I might be, cor I might be correct. I might not be not. I may not be, but I think that, you know, these people influence in one way or the other. People who come in and they influence some things. Not that they influence so much, but I think... In this our country, I'm not saying generally, you. <laughs> this our country, the normal is abnormal, the normal, abnormal is normal. So I think to an extent, because what, what will you call this one? You know, um, Osibanjo's group actually went there and he endorsed Osibanjo. Now he's going and this one is giving him a prayers. Well, at the end of the day, what are we seeing? Apart from the fact now that Osibanjo is even in this picture right now, um, another thing I'm going to say is imagine somebody who has ruled Nigeria before and Nigerians are not happy about the way he ruled Nigeria. Then you are actually going to meet that person. And you yourself, you're actually you're in the same age bracket. Like, like, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Does he want to tap into the world of knowledge of the former president? Does he? Because I, I'm, I'm trying to ask myself why he's a military person. Is it that you want to bring that um, kind of dictatorship kind of, you know, into the government? Because I, I, I need to understand where it is coming from. Well, <laughs> uh, it's like, a, like every other person would say, even if somebody does not, you know, does not support um, you and doesn't want to say it upon, the, eh, the person will also pray for you and I hope it's a success. Of course, let's find out more about this. It's about to get juicy. The news and details stay with us. The APC chieftain and former Lagos State Governor said his mission to the North Central State was part of his consultation to brighten his chances of succeeding President Muhammad Buhari, whose tenure will expire next year. According to him, consultations are still ongoing and he would not stop seeking extensive consultations before the 2023 general elections. Generally, I came to Niger State to commiserate with the governor and the people of Niger State. 
I cannot, I cannot stop by without paying a courtesy call to the Engima General Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida retired, Tunibu said. So he gave me his prayers. You want to know the outcome of the consultation? We are running the democracy. I took my decision voluntarily and I'm running for the presidency of a country. We are running the democracy. Thank you very much and God bless you. When I made the declaration, I told you that I am still consulting and I will consult as widely as possible. Before visiting the former head of state, he was at the Niger State Government House, where he donated a sum of 50 million naira to families of victims of the recent killings by bandits on communities in Niger State this month alone. Speaking with the governor, Belu Abubakar, he decried the security situation in the country and said it can be fixed with prayers and self-belief. He equally asked Nigerians not to see the nation's security challenges as a hopeless situation. Now, if you are somebody who is like, you know, having insight and you are, you know, just like I've been saying, we need to be looking for candidates that are giving us prospects, prospective candidates that are telling us that they can do it. Now, look at what he said. He said, he decried the security situation in the country and said it can be fixed with prayers and self belief Does that mean now that if he is made the president, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying if, for instance, for example, you know, he becomes the president of Nigeria, she understand me. And then this, of course, this thing is going to, you know. Uh, it seems they're not really treating it now. I'm not saying it should be carried over. We're praying it, it ends in 2022, self. Okay, fine. When it is crossover, maybe he makes it. So it is going, it is prayers and self belief that he's going to be solving the problem. As, uh, is, is, it, is it so? If, if, if you're going to call him now and give him, like, okay, a, a quiz or a debate, this is what I'm telling you people to look out for. This is it. He has told you people now that it is prayers and, uh, and self-belief. <laughs> ah, goodness. Nigerians, what are you waiting for? This one, he has even, see, this is the number one thing that anyone who is coming to Nigeria should do. You have not gone back and check all the nations. How have they dealt with their insecurity issues? Have you made your findings? Have you read Bros? The way you're consulting, have you read? Have you been a versatile reader? Have you gone to history? Have you asked questions? You are people, you are somebody that you can call people to even give you the information. Read the book and tell you what it's all about. You can. Now, you are coming to tell a 61 year old Nigeria that the, it is prayer and self belief that will give it back its scenery and peace. I am disappointed. But well, should I be? They'll come for me. <laughs> On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.